Sikkim, a land of profound cultural significance for Hindus and Buddhists alike, is re-emerging as a pivotal player in contemporary Bharatiya geopolitics. Nestled in the northeastern corner of Bharat, this enchanting state carries immense political and cultural weight that transcends its modest size and population. But what if I were to tell you that Sikkim's fate could have been as dire as that of Syria and Afghanistan? Yes, the very thought might startle you, but one woman, just one American woman had come perilously close to steering Sikkim towards an unimaginable catastrophe. So come with us as we explore Sikkim's interesting story in Bharat's modern politics. We look at why this state is so vital both politically and culturally and the important moments in its history that shapes its fate. Sikkim holds a special place in India due to its cultural and historical significance for both Hindus and Buddhists. In ancient times, it is believed that Bhagwan Shiva blessed Arjun with the powerful Pashupatastra in this region, leading to the establishment of the Kirateshwar Mahadev temple dedicated to Bhagwan Shiva. Sikkim is also associated with the Kirati people, ancient tribes who evolved from primitive living to civilization. Historian Dr. A.C. Singh notes that Sikkim has been the home of the Kirati tribes since prehistoric times. By the 6th century, the Lepchas and Bhutia settled in Sikkim bringing with them a mix of beliefs. Some followed Sanatan Dharma like Kiratis, while others embraced Buddhism and other mixed faiths. Sikkim had a complex relationship with the British Empire. Though an independent monarchy, they joined forces to face a common enemy, that is the Nepalese Kingdom. But the British were not always the reliable partners. After Bharat gained independence in 1947, there was a growing need to integrate Sikkim into the country. Although attempts to conduct a popular vote failed, our leaders convinced the Chogyal, that is the king of Sikkim, Tashi Namgyal, to declare Sikkim an Indian protectorate. This led to the signing of the India-Sikkim Treaty in 1950, formalizing Sikkim's association with Bharat. This history of Sikkim reveals the blend of religion, culture and politics that have shaped Sikkim's identity and its evolving relationship with Bharat. Till the early 1960s, Sikkim enjoyed relative peace. However, the landscape took a dramatic turn following the Indochina War of 1962 as this conflict had profound implications for the region. Before delving into the events further, it is worth noting a lesser known historical facet. In the 1950s, Sikkim served as a covert base for the American Central Intelligence Agency that is CIA to conduct secret operations in support of Tibetan guerrillas who opposed Chinese control over Tibet. This discreet engagement revealed the strategic importance of Sikkim in the geopolitical chessboard of that era. The year 1959 witnessed a pivotal moment in Sikkim's history. The dramatic escape of the Dalai Lama from Tibet heightened the significance of Sikkim for both India and China. India's Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru viewed the Chumbi Valley, which was under Chinese control, as a looming threat to India's security. It was described as a dagger pointed at the heart of India. However, by 1963, a series of events would reshape Sikkim's destiny in profound ways. The reserved but pro-India Chogyal, that is Tashi Namgyal, had succumbed to cancer. His son, Palden Thundup Namgyal, lacked the charisma and authority of his father. Adding to the turmoil was Palden Thundup Namgyal's marriage to the 22-year-old American socialite Hope Cook, which garnered worldwide attention. This union occurred mere months after his father's demise deepening the intrigue surrounding the Chogyal's family. Hope Cook's influence began to permeate Sikkim's political landscape as she advocated for greater autonomy for the region. Some even alleged that she had connections to the CIA, though these claims have yet to be substantiated. Simultaneously, shifting demographics fueled tensions within Sikkim. The indigenous Lepchas and Bhutias felt marginalized as Nepalese migrants gained prominence. To compound matters, the Chogyals imposed archaic tax laws, further unsettling the local populace. This situation served the interests of both the United States and China, both of whom were violently opposed to the idea of Sikkim becoming the part of Bharat. However, the local population had other ideas. The desire for Sikkim to merge with Bharat was not limited to its masses alone. In 1963, a significant turn of events occurred when China threatened to open the Eastern Front again. 
In response, India's armed forces received orders to evacuate strategically important regions, including Zelepla and Nathula. However, amidst this turmoil, one man stood apart in his convictions. Recognizing the immense geographical and geopolitical significance of both Nathula and Sikkim, Major General Sagat Singh Rathor, the divisional commander of that area, defied orders to vacate Nathula. At that time, he was the commanding officer of the 17th Mountain Division and had already earned his stripes as a war hero in the quest to liberate Goa. Major General Sagat Singh Rathor's pivotal role came to the forefront when Chinese forces repeatedly intruded into Nathula. Undeterred, he was tasked with securing the borders of Nathula with barbed wires and fences. His refusal to comply with Chinese orders in 1963 underscored his belief that Nathula was situated at a natural boundary. Major General Sagat Singh's reputation as a battle-hardened warrior preceded him, notably for his instrumental role as a brigadier in the liberation of Goa from Portuguese rule. The Portuguese, stung by the humiliating defeat, had even issued posters in Lisbon featuring his image and offered a reward of $10,000 for his capture, dead or alive. Remarkably, Major General Sagat Singh had maintained friendly relations with the Chogyals, including Hope Cook, who spoke highly of him in her memoirs. However, Hope Cook's overt friendliness did not sway Sagat Singh when it came to matters of national interest. He remained resolute in his commitment to the nation's welfare. Major General Sagat Singh's unwavering dedication to Bharat yielded remarkable results. It was his strategic leadership that led to Bharat's resounding victory at both Nathula and Chola, thwarting China's advances and deterring any further aggression for over five decades. The subsequent integration of Sikkim into Bharat marked not only a setback for Maoist China, but also indirectly impacted the United States, which had its own interests in creating turmoil within Bharat. Major General Sagat Singh's steadfast commitment to the nation's interests played a pivotal role in securing India's territorial integrity and sovereignty. In retrospect, the story of Sikkim's merger into Bharat is not only a tale of geopolitical maneuvering, but also a testament to the unwavering dedication of armed officers like Major General Sagat Singh, who placed the nation's interests above all else.